Bobby, just uh, how do you feel about the way this team finished the season and goes six and one down the stretch heading into the playoffs? Just uh, I know you guys had to work for it today, but to get that last win and finish twelve and four. I uh, feel pretty good. Um, you know, obviously uh, we would have loved for this game to go different, muted. but they said I'm muted. Oh, sorry. You good? I said I uh, feel pretty good. Um, you know, obviously we would have loved this game to go a different way, but um, you know, thinking about where we where we came from to where we're at now, um, you know, everything that we had, the ups and downs, the growth. Um, you know, I'm confident in our group, confident in both sides of the ball, special teams, and and look forward to, um, you know, proving that in the playoffs. Joe Fayette? Bobby, we ask you a lot about KJ, but um, you laid a pretty big hit on, on Kyle Juszczyk there, and, and you were you were pretty juiced. Uh, can you take us through that, that moment, um, kind of hyping your guy up right there and, and seeing him still have that level of physicality? Uh, yeah, you know, we, um, you know, we, everybody dropped back, and, and you could tell KJ saw the guy coming underneath. They try to, you know, put something in front of you, throw something behind you, so... I saw KJ break on it, and I just knew it was going to be a big hit. I just didn't know how big of a hit it was. So then I just had like a front row seat of watching him hit him as hard as he did. And then for some reason, he got up talking trash as if he made the hit. So it was just a fun, um, fun moment. KJ's been great. Michael Sean. Hey, Bobby, having been in multiple championship defenses before, how, did, how does it feel right now? Are the ingredients there to make this run? Yeah, definitely feel like we have the ingredients. I think the the biggest thing for us is to do it consistently and do it at a high level for the you know the whole game. And so I think that's um, you know something that we're working on and something that we improving on. Again, like I said, you know where we're at the beginning of the season to where we are now now is uh, you know night and day. But you know we got to keep it up. Thanks, Mas Vida. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. On your, I'm working on your defense. How important is it that you guys are able to finish games? It's extremely important, um, you know, especially in uh, in the playoffs and just moving forward. We have to be able to to finish games, you know, especially uh, when you know when we have to, you know, the offense is trying to get going and things of that nature. It's on us as a defense to make sure that we not only perform at a high level but can have that consistently over the whole course of the game. And um, you know, just got to close it out. We got to make plays, and you know, we got a lot of guys that you know it's kind of their first experience and things of that nature. So, you know, I think we just focus on the growth and, and keep moving. Yeah, Bobby, I, I don't know if you've had any time to even think about it yet, but playing the Rams again and sort of doing so so quickly and all of that, what, what do you think that'll be like? Uh, this is another divisional game. I'm pretty sure we've had, you know, games where uh, we play Arizona in like two times in three weeks or San Fran two times in, in three weeks. So it, it won't be any different. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, they got they got to have a different quarterback, and so we have to watch film on him. Um, you know, but we understand what they bring in. Uh, we understand the stakes, and, and we'll be ready. Last one for Bobby Gray. Bobby, how much do you think guys like Carlos Dunlap, Jamal Adams, who haven't been here, wow, that energy in, in the veteran presence at the same time might help the defense over somebody else? Uh, you went out a little bit. Can you just say it one more time? Guys like Jamal Adams and Carlos Dunlap not having gone to the playoffs in Adams' case ever, how can that? energy in a January setting for veterans that might be beaten up. How can that energy help the defense factors move in that? Oh, that'd be big, you know, because they're going to come in, you know, hype, excited. You know, I think everybody's coming in excited to play in this game. But seeing guys like that, you know, especially for myself, KJ, and guys who's kind of, you know, been here for, for a few times, it's it's uh, refreshing to see, you know, the excitement, you know, uh, someone has when they first get into the playoffs. It reminds you of your, um, you know, first time in the playoffs. and. I think it just creates an excitement to be back in this position, understanding what we want to get accomplished and the position that we're in to do that. And, um, you know, it's going to be fun. Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate you guys.